What is going on guys? Revco here and today we're bringing you my 100 subscriber Q&A. I want to give a big shout out to Michael or Rekraz. I'm going to link him in the below. He recorded this gameplay from on takeoff that you're watching now through theater. And without him I wouldn't be able to have this gameplay in the background while I'm doing this Q&A. So you have something to watch. So um, we're going to get started off here um, with the first question. Uh, it comes from Ted Hughes 3. When did you get serious? When did you start getting serious about your gaming and hi YouTube? Yeah, a lot of people said hi YouTube. But I started getting serious into gaming around like I was five or something, and my brother brought over MW2 and COD 4 and COD 5. And I f the first game I played was, I think, MW2 or COD 4. But it was a mixture between all three games COD 4, COD 5, and MW2. Um, I don't have COD 4 or COD 5 anymore, but I do have MW2, so I still play them. It was the first thing that got, really got me into gaming. I love the aspect of, um, the shooting and stuff. Not that I'd ever do that stuff in real life, but, yeah, it was just really fun to do with my brother, you know, so. Uh, question number two. What's your best trick shot ever? Um, well, it comes from Ethan underscore Hunter 24. What's your best trick shot ever? Sorry. Um, my best trick shot ever, well, most of the trick shots that would be amazing are hit markers. Like, there's an insane hit marker in this gameplay that you're watching right now. And, um, that would have been one of my best shots ever. And there was a studio hit marker I've gotten. It was like a triple wall bang. But the best shot I've ever hit was probably the uh, faded three-piece. Or, it was a faded three-piece on studio. And, or my, um first trick shot ever. I don't think everyone's really seen it besides my YouTube channel. Um, so those those are probably my best trick shot my best trick shot ever. And Remdog one oh four asks, why did you start sniping and trick shotting? Well the reason I really started sniping and trick shotting was because, you know, um it was fun. Like I was a red gunner for the longest time, but I kinda got out the red gunning phase and I started sniping and watching snipers on YouTube. And so I really got into that, and you know, sniping and trick shotting has always really been fun. I always watch a lot of phase members, and I've always looked up to them, and you know, wanted to be like them. Not necessarily a YouTuber's job. That would be pretty good, but you know, um, it would be pretty nice. And uh, from xx underscore sneakerhead underscore x, if you have one, what is your favorite competitive Call of Duty team? Um, my most com my favorite competitive Call of Duty team would probably be Optic because I, I don't know I've just watched Optic before a lot and they're just a good, overall good team and Optic Scumpy was one of the best and you know he's what really got me into Optic because you know his videos and so um yeah and from Javin O Head you better put this in because hey man I'm an old clan member anyway. What was the sickest shot you ever hit, and if you got one, what was the re what was the reaction to it? Well, um, I already told you the sickest shot I ever hit. It was either the faded studio three piece or my first shot I ever hit. And I want to say, to be completely honest, the first one I ever hit was had the best reaction because you know it was my first ever trick shot, and it was I don't know, it was just amazing to me. And I freaked out. I legit was screaming like a little girl. But uh, yeah. And um, XX Death 115 says at the DSR 50 name reasons why the DSR 50. Well, because I tricked out with the DSR 50 and it's my favorite sniper, and so you know it was a pretty good name for Instagram, so I put it like that. And uh, how Dustin Terry 123? How many shots have you hit in the last month? I think I've only hit none because it's it's like the second of August. <laughs> But, um, t if it was still July or whatever season or month it was, I hit one, it was an express clip, but yeah, and then I hit marker that, uh, express the trick shot you're gonna watch. Um, and fabulous underscore Brandon underscore three, do you, do you do any outside sports and what are they? Well, I don't really do any outside sports. I used to do basketball when I was a little kid. And I used to do Kung Fu, but I quit. So, yeah. Also, I like to run. And to move on to the next question, Colby underscore underscore East asks, what is your favorite 
game to trick shot map and what kind of trick shot i think he's asking like what is your favorite call of duty game and what's your favorite map on that game and how do you, like what is your you know like signature trick shot well my favorite call of duty is black ops 2 because of the insta swaps and the kind of trick shots i do in that and the my favorite studio or <laughs> my favorite trick shot map is either studio or takeoff because of the many ledges and stuff i'm slowly losing takeoff because i got a lot of hand markers on that and he asked what kind of trick shot well, I do insta swaps, double insta swaps, you know, shoot, reload, and tomahawk those and all that. I can do pretty much almost all the trick shots, not like the insane stuff, but you know. Um, and Harley, or I don't know how to say, but he asked, "What is your favorite Call of Duty map?" Well, that once again, take off a studio. Underscore Shady underscore underscore Caesar says, "What? Can't wait until you hit 100." Oh, okay. Well, I hit 100 subs and I'm doing the video, so, yeah. And George Hassel 2001 says, What's the favorite trick shotting map? Once again, studio and take off. And Teme asks, How can you join your clan? Well, Zach is no longer in session, so, you know. You can't. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to move into more questions. Um, boo boo. Ted Hughes 3, I think he already asked a question, but he says, when did you get really serious about your gaming, and hello everyone. Um, once again, 5, brother, call duty. Um, hold up, I gotta read through. Okay, um, uh, oh, I just had it, okay. Abel DS50951 says, do you think you're the best ever? No, I know I'm not the best ever. Um, Living like the fish life. Do you like apples? Yes, uh, I like apples. I like the green apples. And Mila, Milad PQ says, what was the first game you played? And once again, Call of Duty 5, Call of Duty 4, MW2. I think it was MW2 to be completely honest. I was over my grandmother's. He brought MW2 on his Xbox, so yeah. Um, How did you get your name? I think he's thinking about Revco or... The EDSR50, if he's saying about the EDSR50, I already answered that, but if he's saying about Revco, you know, I was just thinking about names, and I was going through Xbox trying to change my game tag, and that was one that wasn't taken, and it had a little good rhythm to it, and Feeders, with three, or two R's, says, do you want a partner, P? Um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know you, but, um, yeah, okay, and underscore cool kid dot J, as, do you get any hate, and if so, how do you respond to it? And hello, YouTube, with a hello thingy emoji. Well, I do get hate. I just, like, either delete the comment, or I just ignore it. Or if it's something that they misunderstood, I try to tell them. But I don't try to let it get to me. You have to have thick skin to be on YouTube. If not, you know, you're going to get put down by everyone. And Bux Rad Radolf asks, how long does it take to edit a video? Well, it depends on the video. If I'm editing like a mini tage or a montage, it might take me an hour to two hours. If I'm just doing a regular live com, it might take me like ten minutes. It doesn't really take that long. Um, Hedge Pig Army asks, how long does it take to upload a video? It doesn't. It depends on how big the video is. Like a one gigabyte video, it'll take like an hour or two, depending on your connection. It really depends on your connection. So I have a pretty fast connection, and it uploads quite quickly. And Fallen Impacts asks, why do you want to be a YouTuber? P.S. Hey, YouTube. I want to be a YouTuber because I enjoy playing Call of Duty, and I've always been told, you know, do what you want as a living. And I'm not really doing it for the money. It's also for um, entertaining people. I always like how, you know, YouTubers can entertain me, and I want to do the same for you guys. And I'm not going to get to all the questions. I'm going to answer two more. Um, the Quilliam Show asks, what was the it like starting off on YouTube? It was really hard to get subs, but I found a way through Instagram to promote myself, and yeah. And the final question is, what is your favorite sniper in Black Ops 2? It is either the, the DSR, yes, yeah, just the DSR, because the ballistic gets too many hit markers. But um, yeah, that's the end of the Q&A. I couldn't get to all the questions, I didn't have enough time with the game.